It's about the restoration of our republic. We want to educate, encourage, enable the power. We stand for integrity, honesty, self-reliance, self-defense, and most importantly, no compromise on our foundational principles. This is America's Voice Now. Find America's Voice Now on Facebook and at americasvoicenow.org. Here's Michael Evans. All right. Good morning, America. We are hammering away at tyranny, terror, terror from D.C., and terror from every government agency out there. We're doing it every day. We're breaking the, the we're breaking the mold here and showing you and telling you the truth. We're delivering truth and exposing mainstream propaganda, government sponsored propaganda. We're informing you, educating you, and giving you the the inside st- story that you need on truth so that you can make your own mind up. Instead of being fed a lot of propaganda, we're giving you the truth of what you need to know. Then you, and only then, can you make an informed decision and determine what is in your own best interest. Because, let me tell you something, these traders in D.C., they've got no, they've got no respect for you whatsoever. You know, I used the analogy the other day that you're like a cow with a new tag in its ear. And everything that they need to know about you is embossed on that tag. And the reason that they need to do that is because they need to make sure that they know whether you're productive, whether you are, uh, what your age is. And, and if you draw this analogy to the farmer, what you'll find is that, you know, the farmer needs to know what he's got in his herd. And he needs to know that this one's getting a little old or this one's had too many diseases, so we got to cut it loose or we got to cull it out of the herd. This one is ready for sale because it's at peak weight. This one's not producing enough milk. You know, this one's ready for slaughter. And so that's that's the way you got to look at this. The NSA is building a database on every American citizen, and that is your tag. To use the old Jeff Foxworthy game of here's your sign, going forward, you need to be able to understand that every time you are communicating you are handed a tag. And on that tag is updated information for everything about you. If you join in the Obamacare debacle on October 1st and you actually submit your financial information and your and your taxation documents and you submit all of your health information and all of your personal information, your address, your age, your social security, date of birth, every member of your family, you are opting in to the system that will terminate you. That's as good as it gets, folks. It's time to opt out of all of this. And yesterday, a hundred large corporations sent a letter to House Speaker John Boehner and Minority Leader Nancy Puclosi urging quick passage of a comprehensive immigration reform bill. Now, the hypocrisy of this is that these companies are uh, represent a vast array of different various businesses. General Electric, Walt Disney, Marriott Hotels, Hilton Hotels, Hyatt Hotels, McDonald's, the Wendy's Corporation, Coca-Cola, the Cheesecake Factory, Johnson & Johnson, Verizon Telecommunications, Hewlett Packard, General Mills, and more. These are just a few of the names. All of them that want to see increases in immigration levels for low-skill as well as high-skill workers. Here's the problem with that. Right now, the official unemployment rate is 7.3%. Well, for the record, Greece came out yesterday and said that their official unemployment rate is 27%. The truth of the matter is, if you understand what's really going on with us, you will know that our true unemployment rate is about the same as Greece's. The only difference is we have a much, much larger population and we have the ability to win, to borrow unlimited funds because or print it up, and Greece doesn't. But quite frankly, folks, that's the only difference between us. 
our unemployment rates are the same. Don't listen to the to the the propaganda and the psychophants that tell you that our that our unemployment rate is seven point three percent. Millions of American workers at all skill levels are out of work, and millions more are so discouraged that they completely have just left the workforce altogether and quit looking. Now, here's the problem: most of these same companies that have gone out there and put this letter out to Boehner and Pelosi are themselves guilty of massive layoffs in just the last year or two alone. Hewlett-Packard laid off 29,000 employees in 2012 alone. So now, hold on a minute. Let me understand this. Tracy Keogh, the executive vice president for human resources, signed this letter and signed it, what, eight months into 2013 after she laid off 29,000 employees. So how are you trying to tell me, Ms. Keogh, that you can't find qualified employees when you cut 29,000 out of them out of your workforce? Cisco Systems, they signed it. They they announced plans to lay off 4,000 people plus an additional 8,000 that were cut in the last two years. So that's a total of 8,000 already cut and 4,000 more coming. And yet Cisco has the unmitigated goal to sign this document and say, we need high skill and low skill employees. Well, what about the ones you just fired? 12,000 of them. I mean, if you need new employees, why don't you just go hire them back? United Technologies, 3,000 layoffs this year. American Express, 5,400 jobs this year. Procter Procter & Gamble, 5,700 jobs cut in 2012. These are just a couple of the layoffs. A few of these other companies, T-Mobile, 2,250 layoffs in 2012 alone. Archer Daniels Midland laid off 1,200. Texas Instruments, 2,000. Cigna, that's an insurance company, 1,300. Verizon cut 1,700 jobs by buyouts and layoffs. Marriott announced hundreds of layoffs. International Paper closed plants and laid off dozens and dozens of people in each plant. General Mills did a rare mass layoff, which is unusual for them, of 850 people last year. So here's the problem. What we have is a group of people who wrote this letter, and it's dated September 10th. And it says, Dear Speaker Boehner and Minority Leader Pelosi, Support for Immigration Reform. We, the undersigned chief human resource officers of major corporations doing business in the United States, are writing to, writing to urge the House to enact legislation to fix the broken immigration system and work with the Senate to ensure that a bill is signed by the president this year. We believe this this would be a long overdue step towards aligning our nation's immigration policies with its workforce needs at all skill levels to ensure U.S. global competitiveness. And we are hopeful that the House will address these needs. The Senate bill is not a perfect measure, and many of us hope to work with the House to enact more favorable provisions in certain areas. Now, hold on a minute. So you're going to sit there and tell me that they believe that this would be a long overdue step in aligning our nation's immigration policies with the workforce needs at all skill levels, but you all just laid off millions of Americans. Isn't that lying? And notice that these are all the undersigned chiefs of human resources. Remember my analogy a few minutes ago about a cow with a tag in it? Not only are you thought of that way by government, You're thought of that way by most of the enterprise large corporations in the United States of America. You are a crop being farmed, waiting to be picked. Two years ago, the HR Policy Association, which represents the most senior human resource executives at the largest companies in the U.S., and of which we are all members, issued a blueprint for jobs in the 21st century which provided a number of recommendations for restoring growth and competitiveness in the United States. Among these was a recommendation that immigration reform, quote, address the reality that there is a global war for talent 
and that countries are competing to attract and retain the human capital essential to a culture of productivity and innovation. End quote. The report contained a number of recommendations aimed at attracting and retaining immigrants with strong science, technology, engineering, and math skills. The Senate bill includes strong provisions along the lines of our recommendations, and we would encourage the House to adopt a similar pro- approach. Even with the economy still recovering, many of our companies continue to have difficulty finding sufficient American workers to fill certain lesser skilled positions. Ah, now comes the rub. So what they're really looking for is a bunch of illegals to get, to be green carded who will work for minimum wage instead of the 15 or $17 an hour that the American workers get. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth. The rest of this is political cover and lies and excuses. They are looking for low, no-skill workers who will sit there and consider $8 an hour to be a boon. That's what they want. All the high-skill workers they, they want, they can get. They buy them a green card. That's an old game. I've been in corporate business enough to know that when they get a skilled person who's from India or Asia somewhere or from somewhere over in Europe who came here to go to university, get an education here with free taxpayer money, and then they want that person to stay here and work in their high technology sector, they just get them a green card. Trust me, it happens every single day. So don't let these psychophantic liars fool you, America. Let me read it again. Even with the economy still recovering, many of our companies continue to have difficulty finding sufficient American workers to fill certain lesser skilled positions. Thus, in addition to addressing the need for a more highly skilled immigrant, we strongly support efforts to bolster the availability of a workforce at all skills levels through a separate visa program, as well as by creating a path to legal status for those already here. Finally, We urge you to improve the E-Verify system so employers can rely on its results without fear of legal liability and to preserve federal preemption to ensure uniform application of the enforcement rules across the country. The economic benefits of broad immigration reform were recently underscored by the Congressional Budget Office uh, in a cost estimate regarding the Senate bill. In addition to finding that the bill would reduce the federal deficit by about $197 billion over the next decade, that's $19.7 billion per year, folks, which is the rounding era on the Senate's lunch bill. Okay? It also estimates the bill would increase real GDP adjusted for inflation by 3.3% by 2023 and 5.3, uh, 5.4% by 2033. Those are numbers that are put together with the rosiest potential outlook and in, in taken into account. They are, ex, they are, they are uh, uh, essentially projections that show if everything goes right, nothing goes wrong, money grows at a steady, fa- fast pace, and all the rest of this nonsense, which we all know is euphemistically nonsense. Clearly, the positive human resource impact of the bill plays a key role in these estimates. As CBO projects that the bill would increase the U.S. population by about 10.4 million new residents by 2023 and 16.2 million by 2033, with the U.S. labor force growing at about 6 million workers, or 3.5%, by 2023 and 9 million, or 5%, by 2033. Our global competitors understand that attracting top talent from around the world is vital to a country's economic success. And many already have rewritten their immigration policies accordingly. We urge Congress not to miss this opportunity to level the playing field for U.S. employers. We can't afford to wait. Wow. Wow. Sold out and betrayed by the self-same companies that are playing you for every last nickel they can squeeze out of your hide. They reach between your cheeks to get an extra nickel and a penny. 
So who are these corporate raiders and traders? All right, let's go through their names. Motorola Solutions, Merck and Company, Kronos Incorporated, United Technologies, The Cheesecake Factory, Ingersoll Rand and Company, The Procter and Gamble Company, CVS Caremark. Stop shopping at CVS. Find yourself another drugstore. AT&T. Got your AT&T phone? Go find somebody else to put it on. Hallmark Cards. Really? Hallmark Cards. So what do you want? A whole bunch of low-level $8 an hour monkeys to sit there and and work at, at like slave labor for you because you don't want to pay somebody else 12 I mean, give me a break. You charge us 3 and $4 for a lousy, crappy birthday card. Ain't that enough? Eaton, E-A-T-O-N, Illinois Tool Works, DuPont, Sears Holding. There you go, Sears. Swear off Sears. Go into a local Sears store near you or call Sears Corporate Headquarters and tell them that you are going to stop using Sears. In fact, turn in your Sears credit card and tell them why. Because they supported immigration and are trying to steal jobs from American citizens, whom they just fired. BNSF Railways, USG Corporation, Tyco International, American Express, Shell Oil. Find yourself another gas station. Archer Daniels Midland. That's a that's an agra tyrant. If you're not familiar, by the way, the federal the federal just a quick note, but it came out yesterday. They extended the Monsanto Protection Act for an extra three months quietly while nobody was looking and they were talking about Syria. Um, General Mills. Swear off their cereal, folks, and then let them know why you're not going to buy their products anymore. Johnson Controls. Ingram Industries. Allstate Insurance. Allstate Insurance. you got to be kidding me. I mean, here's a company that's making money hand over fist. They use every sneaky scumbag trick in the book to steal from you by jacking your rate based on the fact that somebody else in your state claimed an accident. So now they're going to share the load. And they're not and it's not good enough. Now they want employees they can hire for pennies on the dollar. Right. General Parts Incorporated. And, 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 you know, tell me all state needs. Uh, it's not like they're in high technology where they need to be able to um, uh, have a high tech uh, staff that is working of engineers and so forth. I mean, I mean, all state can have what a, a, a an IT staff of what a couple of dozen people. They're not breaking new ground here. All they're figuring out is how to make their spreadsheets look prettier and write a piece of software so that their agents can figure out how to rake you over to coals one more time. General Parts. Alley Financial. A-L-L-Y. If that's your bank, cancel it. Harris Corporation. The Coca-Cola Company. Northwestern Mutual. Another thieving insurance company. U.S. Foods. Univar, U-N-I-V-A-R, the Williams Companies, Johnson and Johnson, McDonald's Corporation. Stop eating at McDonald's, folks. Liberty Mutual Insurance Group, another treasonous uh, insurance ra- ra- rape organization. Avaya, Kiwit, K-I-E-W-I-T Corporation. ADT, if you've got an alarm system with them, call them up and tell them you're going to cancel it and tell them why. Air Products and Chemicals, Caterpillar Incorporated, W.W. Granger, Pfizer Incorporated. If you're taking any drugs out of Pfizer, you're crazy anyway, unless you need that for a medical condition. But if you are taking Anything that Pfizer or any of these Merck or any of these other drug companies sell, you're a fool. You are being played and used in ex- as an experimental toy by Pfizer and by Merck and by the medical industry. 
and your doctor, who benefits because he's given free samples and free lunches and dinners and trips to take his wife to the Bahamas and the Caribbean because he sells and pushes their products and he prescribes for them. It's a scam. If you're on antidepressants, you're an idiot. Your brain is being rewired. And meanwhile, you're being fed propaganda. That's why when the NSA is sitting there reading everything about you, you don't have the courage of your convictions to get out of your chair, get off your fat rear end, and storm the castle in D.C. Because you're allowing them to brainwash you with drugs. Avery Dennison Corporation, Computer Sciences Corporation. If you're taking that crap, call Kevin over at the battery station and tell him you want to get off of that and and call him. And, and uh, here's his phone number. It's 417-257-7757. That's 417-257-7757. You call over there and you, uh, he's at the battery station. You call and ask for Kevin. And tell him that Mike from America's Voice Now sent you and that you want that uh, he's got this uh, product that will help flush these um, brainwashing pills out of your system. And so you give him a call and you make sure you tell him Mike from America's Voice sent you over there. 417-257-7757 or 7751. Maybe that too. I think he's actually got two. Humana, another insurance company. Honeywell International, Novellus, International Paper, Hewlett Packard, Coca Cola, uh, Simon Property Group, Dover Corporation, Danaher, Cor- Danaher Corporation, American Airlines, Dakin McQuay Americas. I have no idea what that is. TRW Automotive, Analog Devices, Continental Grain Company, MSC Industrial Direct, UPS, United Parcel Service, Hospira, Ecolab, Avnet. 21st Century Fox, Cigna Corporation, White Lodging Corporation, T-Mobile USA, Darden Restaurants, The Service Master Company, St. Gobain Corporation, General Dynamics, Automatic Data Processing, Bloomin' Brands, Walt Disney Company, McCormick & Company, Fiserv, F-I-S-E-R-V, General Electric, yeah, that's the same group that filed a 59,000-page IRS document and never paid a penny in tax, right? A.O. Smith Corporation, Verizon Communications, Carolina Healthcare Systems, SRA International, Marriott International, Prax Air, Emerson, Rockwell Automation, Hilton Worldwide, Parker Hannafin Corporation, Quest Diagnostics Corporation, DTE Energy, HCA, Eastman Chemical Company, U.S. Steel Corporation, Newell Rubbermaid, Manpower Group. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'm going to finish this list, and then we're going to talk about Putin and Syria. Guys, don't you smell the treason, the tyranny, the abuse, the robbery, the the farming everywhere around you? It's out of hand. Get up off your backside, America, and take some action. We'll be back in just a moment. Stick with us. You're listening to America's Voice Now. Find us at americasvoicenow.org. 